Hey, what's up? This is Unrivaled Skyrim, and I'm about to do this Total War Rome 2 battle replay. Um, this was a battle fought um, earlier today. Um, I got some battles in, and I think this one is really the best one. I think I, I recorded up to five, well, plus auto save. Um, played a bunch of quick battles. Um, three of them ended in draws where the time timer ran out, but this one was an actual. Um, um, completed battle, so let's go ahead and uh, watch this replay. Um, gosh, my opponent's name was Cavalier, spelled with a K. Um, I was playing as Rome, and this, like I said, this was a quick battle. Most of the ba battles I fought today were just in the quick battle. Um, I did host some battles on multiplayer, um, but this is pretty straightforward. Um, very forested map, a lot of patches of um, woods to hide your troops and to uh, take cover from long-range missiles. As you can see, we both have three um, units of uh, Blyric Slingers, but I do um, outman him when it comes to Javelins, but he does have a very considerable amount of uh, Libyan, I think they're just late hoplites or early, uh, I can't remember, they're late or early hoplites, I can't distinguish that um, unit card. But he's got some, yeah, he's got a lot of upgrades on most units as well. But he's got four units of pike. Um, um, are they Carthaginian pikemen? Are they Libyan pikemen? I can't remember what they're called. No, they're called African pikemen, excuse me. Um, he's got some javelin men. He's got Carthaginian cav. And I think he only had one unit of noble cav, which those are shock cav. Ready to be trusted. My army's pretty straightforward. I got, I think I have four um, Vilates. I have one of the flanks. I have, I think, only four Avocati cohorts. These guys are pretty, pretty awesome infantry, and I'm gonna use them mostly as pl uh, playing as the Romans. They're pretty cost-effective and um, pretty good units. I got two auxiliary infantry in the front lines, right behind a unit of levies. Um, I have enough. I had some spare money. Purchase an upgrade for that unit of levies. Might as well. Um, always see if you can put an upgrade if you have like 30 or like 40 denarii left. Um, I have two units. For, was it two units? Two units of Sochia Equites. I'm trying to scout ahead and at the same time I'm trying to bait his Carthaginian camp into engaging. Uh, but we're pretty, we're pretty much playing cat and mouse. Let's go ahead and take a look at his guys. Yeah, these are the late Libyan hoplites and the African. Pikeman. His general is in the Noble Cavalry. Is there another one? No, there's just this one general. So I like the look of this map. Um, I, I don't think it was in the Caesar in Gaul. Um, a Caesar in Gaul map, but it looks like it. Just the way the, the trees look like it's in um, in, in fall. But, um, right now we're pretty much playing cat and mouse, but I will be... Uh, moving forward my skirmishers and I have these auxiliary infantry close by to assist um, my Blair Slingers if they are charged by Cav and um, to protect them from being uh, run down. But I do have this unit of Socii Equites hidden back here and I will activate it later um, later in the battle and um, as for Cav, other than my general, I do have a unit of Praetorian Cav, but these, these are very, um, very useful, very strong Cav when it comes to, um, close melee, um, encounters. But see, he's bringing up his mercenary Blaric Slingers to go into a little bit of cinematics. cinematics. Um, we're kind of, we're just skirmishing right now. Um, I really didn't want to press on because uh, I just wanted to uh, skirmish with him as much as possible. I knew I kind of had a skirmishing edge, but he's going to go ahead and um, try to find a way to attack my Blair Slingers, knowing that they're in the woods and that his were out in the open. But he does a pretty good thing here. He is going to try to charge in with his um, double cav. But I got a lot of units um, ready to surround him. Um, and I. I do catch one of his Carthaginian calves momentarily, and he's, he's doing a pretty good job in infiltrating my lines, but the problem is that uh, their cavalry start to get um, 
surrounded in his noble cab. They're already wavering. Um, his general's dying. Um, he charged his cab into my socii. Actually, that's my Praetorian cab. My socii equites were helping my um, my Blair slingers. Um, actually, no, they weren't. I don't even know what I'm talking about. So we're, we're attacking their cab. Um, and he did a good job of bringing up his javelin men and his slingers to try to assist the corruption that he caused by charging my um, my front lines. And he, he did a pretty good job of taking out my generals. They're only down to six. He was just focusing fire on them. Um, I don't think he's even still alive at this point. But I did use his um, his um, his two general abilities, the Caesar abilities. I don't know what they are off the top of my hat. But I did manage to use them right before he died, so I had some use from it. But here, he's, he does a pretty good thing. He assists his uh, Carthaginian cab with some of his late uh, Libyan hoplites. And he's doing the same thing over here. So I'm going to try my best to pull my cab out of those fights. They will lose. And there's no sense of losing my cab when I could easily um, pull them out. You see, I'm trying my best. And this, this unit will take a lot of casualties, but I think I do eventually get it out. Let's see, um, he's bringing forward his pikes. Very good move, but the problem is I do out, um, outman him when it comes to um, uh, javelin men. And you know what, I think I... No, I, I was about to say, I, I think I left this unit of spearmen, auxiliary infantry to, um, to hold off his, um, his pikemen from advancing. He's trying to envelop me on multiple flanks. Uh, he does outman me in infantry, but I outman him in quality infantry. That's pretty cool. My guys are cheering him on. Let's go ahead and just close up that. Yeah, from the front, his pikemen will uh, do a lot of damage against my Epicotis. And, but his late Libyan hoplites, on the other hand, I will attack them from the front. And I'm going to go ahead and activate one of my um, my Evocates, and I'm going to take them off of formation attack, so they push forward into these um, into these hoplites. And even though this late Libyan probably has some, yeah, it has silver chevron upgrades, it um, it will sustain a lot of casualties, anyways. Um, he's bringing, he's supporting it with some pikemen, good idea, but the problem is, I'm just having my, my javelin men, my filetes just discharge their javelins straight into these, um, pikemen, and their low, their low armor will betray them in the end. But, yeah, I freed up my cavalry, and I had, um, now I have free reign on his back lines, my cav, my Praetorian cav, has taken so far uh, minimal casualties, but my socii equites are very depleted. He tried to leave one unit of late Libyans to protect his back lines, but the problem is that one unit's not going to fend off three units of cavalry. Um, and here I'm bringing my Balearics around to the left, and um, yeah, and you did see earlier I did get a um, and hammer and anvil strike with that Socii Equites. But here I'm going to take some shots in the rears of these hoplites. Whenever you can, try to outflank no matter what with any sort of unit, especially um, um, heavy infantry outflanking, but in this case I only have these Blair Slingers. Um, they're going to get better shots into these um, more heavily armored uh, hoplites uh, from the um, from the left flank, and they're, they're shooting him from the front. Over here on the right, I had sent the Nevicati and even this um, unit of auxiliary infantry to hold off these late hoplites. They were getting around my flank, and he's trying to outflank them, so I, I decided to stop them. I even throw my levies into this melee fight. Might as well. They were out of missiles. Um, my Velotes were just cleaning up on his um, African pikemen. And that's pretty much the battle. Uh, let's go ahead and check the statistics. Um, yes, yeah, so you can see my my cab did a very good job. My general only six kills, but um, I still managed to use his ability, so his death did not go in vain. 
uh, my Velotes, it seemed like they got more kills, but I guess they only came into the battle late when it came to um, discharging their javelins. Uh, my Slingers did pretty good, um, and um, I think this unit of Socia Equites had charged into his, um, his, his skirmishers when they were unprotected. When he engaged his infantry, he left his skirmishers. I didn't show that, but um, yeah, this cav unit must have gotten into his skirmishers to get that much, that amount of kills. Um, my Evocates took no casualties, which was to be expected. Um, this unit almost got 200 kills, pretty good. These auxiliary infantry, not going to get a lot of kills, but they're just meant to hold, um, really just to hold cavalry units and to allow myself to um, hold them off and um, counter charge and to take out enemy cavalry. His units on the other hand, his his javelin men and his slingers were doing pretty good, um, but the problem was his, um, his African pikemen, absolutely no kills at all. This unit was pretty much destroyed before even engaging in combat. His uh, late Libyan hoplites did absolutely um, they didn't do nothing, but they just, they didn't pay for themselves, especially he got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, six units of those, um, and just the amount, the low amount of kills that they got did not pay for themselves. Um, I think he should have just brought at most three hoplite units to protect his flanks, and I would have actually brought in swords, uh, Libyan swords to, um, they would have been more effective than these upgraded late Libyan hoplites. And, um, or he could have afforded more cavalry. Um, I only brought five, including my general. Um, I think he should have brought more than just a unit of noble cavalry's general and three Carthaginian cav. And plus they didn't get much kills either. His general, on the other hand, was getting a lot of kills, but the problem was he got surrounded. And, um, that was a pretty much a uh, morale blow to his army. Um, after I had slain him, but good game to Cavalier. Um, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel, and see you guys later. Peace.